Item number, SCP-080. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-080 is to be contained in a 4 meter by 4 meter room, with a smaller antechamber located on the south wall to provide researchers with access. On the north wall, an observation room is to be connected, overlooking the main room through a window with thick blackout curtains that release only when the door to the observation room is closed. No attempts should be made to remove SCP-080 from this enclosure at any time. No more than one 7 watt incandescent light bulb is to be illuminated in the main room at any time. Absolutely no devices capable of producing light should be brought into the room. Under no circumstances should anything be brought into SCP-080's containment room that has the ability to shroud, conceal, or otherwise hide SCP-080. Failure to adhere to this will result in disciplinary action. Description It is unknown if SCP-080 has a physical mass or body, as all attempts to interact with it physically have failed and have met with adverse effects. Researchers and personnel have described seeing SCP-080 as various shadows and humanoid effigies, with the only common attribute being two smoking eyes. It has come to the attention of researchers that SCP-080 induces uncontrollable drowsiness upon anyone entering its chamber. After approximately 30 minutes, any person observing it will be forced into REM sleep and may suffer irreversible psychological damage. This effect occurs even if SCP-080 is being observed from a separate room. If at any time SCP-080 finds a way to hide itself, such as in a cupboard, under a bed, covered in a sheet, etc., it will disappear entirely. Additionally, if any light enters SCP-080's containment room with a greater luminance than that produced by a standard children's nightlight, SCP-080 will instantly vanish. Both of these events are considered a containment breach, and any personnel responsible for this will be severely reprimanded and possibly reassigned. Experiment 080-2-A Date 2000 Subject D-081 Male, 19 years old. Details. Subject entered room containing SCP-080 at 1426. Begin log. Doctor. D-081, do you see anything? D-081, no. It's pitch black in here. Subject is silent for several minutes. D-081, did you just let something in here? It feels like something's watching me. Doctor. No, D-081. We did not let anything into the room. D-081. What the f**k is that? D-081 is seen tripping and falling to the floor. Doctor. What do you see? D-081. This giant blackness. Like someone just standing in the corner. Oh god, it's looking right at me. Let me out. D-081 proceeds to pound on the door leading into the antechamber. Doctor. It's looking at you. Please describe its physical appearance. D-081. I don't know. Oh god, let me out. I don't want to be in here. D-081 starts whimpering. Doctor. Tell me what it looks like, D-081. Then we can let you out. D-081. It. It looks like a figure, hunched in the corner. Doctor. Is it a human? D-081. It's too big to be human. D-081 yawns. It's still looking at me, Doc. Still staring. Doctor. Move closer to it. D-081 proceeds to move to the corner of the room, obviously experiencing difficulty staying on his feet. D-081. Its eyes look like vapor, just staring at me, like it wants me to do something. D-081 falls to the floor again. Doctor. D-081, can you hear me? Subject is unresponsive for the next five minutes. End log. Subject presumably collapsed. Subsequently, no remains of D-081 were found, and it is assumed SCP-080 consumed D-081. Experiment 080-2-B Date 2000 Subject D-082 Female 30 years old Procedure Subject was sent into room with SCP-080 with intent to physically interact with SCP-080. Details. Subject entered room containing SCP-080 at 1735, under instruction of Dr. 
Begin log. Doctor, tell me what you see. D082. I don't see jack shit. Why is it so dark in here? After several minutes. Holy shit, what is that? It's just standing in the middle of the room. Doctor, describe what you see. D082. It's just standing in the middle of the room. I can make out two eyes, I guess. Doctor, could you please approach it and let us know if anything changes? D082. I feel drowsy. Did you slip me something or what? Doctor, reach out and touch it. Tell me what you feel. D082. You want me to touch that thing? Doctor. Yes. Please proceed. After a few minutes of argument, it is presumed that D082 proceeds to touch SCP-080. At this time, the subject becomes unresponsive. End log. Subject was found asleep in the corner of SCP-080's containment room. Subject appeared to suffer no physical harm during experiment. Subject was interviewed after medical staff deemed D-082 to be in good physical health. Experiment 080-3-C Date 2000 Subject D-083 Male 24 years old Procedure Subject was sent into room with SCP-080, having been given a powerful amphetamine. Upon entering the room, subject was advised to tell researchers what he saw. Subject describes a shadow-like figure in the center of the room. Subject was informed to stand still and inform researchers of any changes. Ten minutes into the experiment, subject began yawning and became noticeably frightened. Subject became uncooperative and attempted to escape the containment room. Upon failing to escape, subject announced an intent to harm SCP-080 and presumably attempted to attack it. Upon doing so, subject immediately collapsed. D-083's body was recovered from SCP-080's containment room soon afterwards, having apparently suffered a major heart attack. Upon collecting D-083's body, researchers described an intense feeling of unease, a feeling of being watched, as well as a more acute awareness of SCP-080's presence in the room. Interview Log 080-1 Interviewed D-082 Interviewer Dr. Forward D-082 was interviewed following an inconclusive experiment involving SCP-080 where the subject was secured in the room of SCP-080 for 37 minutes. Begin log. Doctor, please describe what you remember from the experiment. D-082. Doctor later notes that D-082 had a spaced out expression and tone of voice. You told me to walk over to it and touch it. I didn't want to. I didn't. Doctor, what happened when you touched it? D-082. When I touched it? Have you seen that thing? Touch it. I couldn't move. It was staring at me, and I just couldn't move. Doctor. You didn't respond for several minutes. What were you doing? D-082. Becoming increasingly agitated. It just stared at me. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. D-082 starts to hyperventilate. Doctor. Calm down, D-082. Take a deep breath. Do you remember falling asleep? D-082. It just stared and stared, not moving, but I felt something. I was on the floor and they were all over me. They're here. D-082 begins to scream and abruptly gets to their feet. No, they're trying to take me away. Back to that thing. I won't go back. You can't make me go back in there. D-082 lunges at Dr. Is subsequently terminated. End log. Addendum 080-A. On 2000... Dr. and his immediate staff have begun complaining of increasingly stressful dreams. As he has had the most interaction with SCP-080 thus far, it has been theorized that SCP-080 is somehow capable of some type of mimetic effect on nearby personnel, even if not being directly observed. Addendum 080-B Following Dr. recent suicide, all personnel located in SCP-080's sector are to keep dream journals and are to inform site psychologists if dreams become increasingly violent or nightmarish in nature. Addendum 080-C All staff are reminded that the blackout curtains in the observation room will not release if the door is not closed, and that exposure time should not exceed 30 minutes for any reason. Addendum 080-D It has come to the attention of senior research staff that some researchers are unable to see SCP-080 
and may be entirely immune to its effects. Any personnel that thinks they are incapable of perceiving SCP-080, please report for mandatory testing. Addendum 080-E It has been suggested following Incident 081 that a Class D personnel be fed to SCP-080 once per month in order to neutralize SCP-080's effect on the mental health of on-site personnel. 05 Approved Incident 081 On A planned observation was conducted by two senior researchers. The researchers entered the observation room, and the blackout curtains were released. Believing the room to be safely shielded from SCP-080's effects, as it had in the past, the researchers began observing SCP-080. Approximately 40 minutes after observation began, both researchers suddenly fell asleep. Upon their retrieval, data expunged. It should be noted that following this incident, all on-site personnel that had reported suffering nightmares and feelings of unease had a good night's sleep, and were generally in a more pleasant mood the following day. Note: All personnel are requested to stop referring to SCP-080 as the Boogeyman. Dr. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-079, Old AI, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.